Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Taking a look at another concept today. Now, this is the concept Main Street. Now, the Main Street itself been out for quite a while now. But, I think you'll notice on this one, it's a little bit different because it's got the crossbar lock. Yep, Concept has re-released the Main Street with a crossbar lock. Cool. I'm down. I like that. You guys know. Any uh, any knife that keeps my fingers out of the cutting path, I kind of I kind of dig that. So, very cool. And I tell you what, uh, Concept did send these out, and I have to give a huge shout out to Emily from Concept, because did she ever send me a sexy one? Yeah, you guys know I am digging that red and black g -mascus. Wow. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. So, like, she knows me or something, and actually... Uh, this is really the first time I've ever talked to Emily, so very cool. Good job, Emily. Thank you so very much. But, um, like I said, it, it's really no different than the original Main Street, other than this one now has a crossbar lock. Again, Dirk Pinkerton design, of course. Pretty open construction. Everything chamfered off really, really nicely. Done very well. And, ah, oh, I just like looking at that g -mascus. Um, no really designated spot for a lanyard, but we do have a deep carry clip. Yes, indeed. Now, no recessed screws, but they're pretty they're pretty flat, so we'll give them that. You got plenty of room under there, but I would like to see recessed screws. You know that. That's just kind of a thing. Like I said, crossbar lock. Everything. Do we have a letterbox going on? Yeah, not really. Not really a letterbox thing going on. Flat scales. Uh, not much contour to them. Centering is pretty darn good. Yeah, it is. Not too bad at all. Dual thumb stud deployment, just like the original, of course. But there you go. There's your difference. The crossbar lock. Pretty smooth action. Nice, solid lockup. I wonder, can I keep my finger out of the way? Oh, well, that wasn't very snappy because, well, it kind of bounced off my finger. I can do it. I know I can. See, I take it from behind the camera. I can do it. All right, there you go. You heard it. You might not have saw it. Whatever. But yes, yes, you definitely can reverse flick it. 154 CM concept. There's your model number. Of course, Dirk Pinkerton's maker's mark along with a fingerprint. There you go. That's There you go. You got my identity now. Very cool. And of course... 154 cm on the blade steel and you've got a pretty light stone wash they call it a stone wash finish it, it's it's a light stone wash it's not very aggressive but it looks pretty darn good the other thing i did is you kind of got that stone washed pocket clip or kind of distressed pocket clip i like the looks of that you know i personally i personally like the way it looks i don't know if anybody else does but i do but now, let's get some specs, just as a reminder of what we're looking at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty much an eight inch knife, really close. You're looking at right about a four and a half inch handle, three and a half inch blade, and then your cutting edge is probably gonna be more about three and a quarter. Your overall grip length, point to point. Oh, looky there. Three and three quarter, yep. Just past, just past that pinky finger. And of course, does feel pretty darn good. So let's do a size comparison. And I do really have to sh thank Emily because not only did she send along the crossbar Main Street, but she sent on, sent over one of the original Main Streets in Green Micarta, liner lock version. So there you go. There's just kind of a comparison between the two. I mean, other than... Other than the crossbar lock, they're pretty much the same. You got a three and a half inch blade. That, and now it does almost look, let me see here, if I can get these lined up. It does almost look like the handle. Yeah, it almost looks like the micarta one is just, it could be an optical illusion. But it kind of does look like it's almost a little bit bigger. 
But anyway, I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's kind of crazy. But yeah, there you go. There is your original Main Street. Pretty darn good action on that one, too. Nice dropper. But again, have to thank Emily for that. Of course, we'll get the PM2 out there. And as you can see, PM2 is going to be a little bit longer. Pretty much, pretty close to a quarter of an inch on the blade. And handles are right, right there. Handles are pretty darn close. So that means our bug out is going to be the smaller of all three. There you go, obviously. Uh, blades are, blades are close. Yeah, let's do the whole. Yeah, blades are not that far off, but the handle. Handle's a good half inch, probably five eight longer on the main street. Four point six. It's got a little bit of half to it. We're definitely over the ounce per inch, but it's nothing too major. Not overly heavy. Pocket clip, very nice. Deep carry. I mean, you might have just a tad peeking out there because of the profile of the handle nothing major um overall the main street uh you guys know uh the blade style and stuff probably not one that really grabs me right off the bat but that's just personal preference other than that the handle really pretty darn comfortable i was a little concerned with that pocket clip but it's not too bad that gets me right in that dip so in the crease of my hand so that's not an issue um, I can feel it back here a little bit. Nothing too, nothing too serious. I, I just, I can feel it. Um, choking up on this one? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. You do have a pretty good landing pad for your thumb there. I mean, there is jimping there, but it's definitely uh, for to me, it's more for looks than for to serve a purpose because it really doesn't stop my grip or anything like that. Uh, Main Street feels pretty darn good in hand. You know, overall, it's another pretty solid knife. They just went ahead and did the crossbar lock on the Main Street. Now, I know a lot of you, uh, back when the Main Street did come out, there was a lot of chatter about it. I know people were really kind of digging it, which is cool. Well, if you're one of those people that really kind of dug the Main Street, what do you think of the Main Street now that it has a crossbar lock on it? I personally, it honestly, it steps it up in my opinion a little bit more. Like I said, uh, blade profile and stuff like that, not something that grabs my attention right off the bat. I've, I've never been, I gotta go get me a Main Street. You know, just because, well, there's so, so many knives, so little time. Uh, but I know a lot of people were really talking highly about it. So now that it has a crossbar lock, I'd hear, like to hear what you think. Did that just bump it up in your opinion at all or or not? It's love to hear what you guys think. Um, this one is selling right around, the Reggie Mascus is selling right around 80 bucks. And, and really, well, so is the Micarta. But on Amazon, the Micarta is... There was a 15% coupon on the Micarta version, on the original version of the Main Street. So not sure if you guys, you know, maybe you held off, maybe you didn't get one. Uh, 80 bucks, 15%, you're looking at what, $14 off? You know, so you can get it under 70 bucks, which for 154 CM, Micarta, as good action and as good as build as that feels, it's a pretty darn good deal. So, might be worth checking out. So, of course, links and everything will be down in the description. You guys feel free to check those out at your leisure, if you will. But yeah, I'd love to hear it. Do you think the crossbar lock improves the Main Street, in your opinion? Love to hear it, guys. As always, thanks again to Concept. Emily, thank you so much for sending these out. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking them out with me today. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.